In this segment, we will be repairing a bumper crack, tear, or gouge in the plastic when the use of a reinforcement patch is needed. As in any auto body repair process, personal protection is a must. Remember to select protective eyewear, appropriate gloves, hearing protection, respirator, and protective clothing based on your job and exposure assessment. A critical step is the thorough cleaning of the panel prior to any operation. Using soap and water followed by the use of an appropriate low VOC compliant wax and grease remover to ensure the surface is free of all contaminants. Use of a heat gun or lamp may be necessary to reshape the deformed area created by the impact. Begin the repair process by dishing out the damage on the face using either a 60 grit Rolock disc on a die grinder or 36 grit on a file belt tool. Dish out the area so the taper is about 3 inches wide, gradually tapering down to the bottom of the damage. Now sand the damaged area with P80 grit on a DA to remove any melted plastic and create a fuzzy surface for bonding, being careful to keep the P80 grit scratches contained to the dished out area. Then feather surrounding the repair area back to bare plastic, two to four inches with P180 grit. On the back side, apply the flexible patch adhesion promoter and allow it to flash 10 minutes. Now cut the flexible patch to the shape desired, allowing for a 1 to 1 1.5 inch border around the repair and firmly apply it to the back side. Apply aerosol adhesion promoter to the front and allow it to flash for 10 minutes. Prep and equalize a cartridge of Easy Sand Flexible Parts Repair Material and apply the adhesive in a tight coat to promote good adhesion. Continue building thin wet coats until the repair material is slightly higher than the surrounding plastic. Allow the adhesive to dry 15 minutes at 75 degrees Fahrenheit. After the adhesive is cured, use a DA with P180 grit to level the surface, followed by a hand block in P180 grit to straighten and shape the repair. Finally, blow off the repair with clean, dry air and inspect. Lastly, check for low spots or pinholes. If present, repeat the previous steps until eliminated. Finally, use a DA with P320 grit to feather edge the repair and surrounding area. Blow off with clean, dry air and inspect.